think it's a cat. What the hell is this thing? Oh my god. I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of Haunted Mansion. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums. I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the battle! Ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy! Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am joined here with my buddy, Angelo. And we are trekking through this field. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to this abandoned farm that has like a bunch of abandoned houses and abandoned farms. So we want to go and check it out, explore it, see what's up. We hear it's haunted. Hopefully it is. We're going to be spending quite some time here tonight. So smash the like button, follow me on TikTok. Link is here and let's get on with this adventure. The view going to this abandoned place that we're trying to get to is unbelievable. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've been walking through this like really long field just to get to this place. All right guys, as you can see, we're approaching the abandoned farm. There's a big giant house here and there's a bunch of other stables and hopefully cool things for us to look at. But before we go in and before it gets dark, look at how gorgeous this view is. As you guys know, Angelo and I have been on a quarantine expedition. We're social distancing, look at that. Six feet away, we're exploring abandoned. The grind never stops, it's never gonna stop, okay? We're gonna keep giving you guys content, we're gonna keep giving you guys something entertaining to watch because that is what I am all about and we're gonna be risking our life today. Yeah, that looks so scary. All right, you guys making our way from the back end of this abandoned farm. Oh man, this looks scary. Whoa. All right, that's freaking creepy. Can't wait to get inside the house. We're gonna go through all the buildings here and all the structures, but as you guys can see, everything's pretty much overgrown. It has been abandoned for a long time. So at the moment, I'm not gonna use my flashlight because it's gonna take away from the beauty of all this destruction. A tree has fallen down here onto this place. As you guys can see, it's completely overgrown. Whoa. As you guys can see, the abandoned house is right there. And there's a lot to explore. There's a lot going on around here. Damn, I can't wait. That house is huge and it is a Victorian style house. So that means there might be some creep shit in there, depending on how long it's been abandoned for. So I'm inside of, I guess, was one of the garages here. Looks like this was a horse farm. Pretty sure this is part of a saddle or something. All right guys, we just made it inside of the farmhouse. Dude, look at this, they left all the cool dishes. Somebody spilled all their buttons on the ground. <sighs> a lot of their dishes are left behind. I don't even know what the hell this is. This is cool though. Whoa, look at how old this place was. We can't go in the basement? <laughs> the steps are completely broken. What is up? Oh, there's a ladder right there. Don't mind. There is a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with me and going into broken basements lately? I bet a lot of you kids don't even know what this is or what it was or what does. What the heck is that? This? Yeah. It's so ancient that I don't even remember what it is. I think it's called a telephone. A what? A telephone. So you would dial. Like if you want to call someone like your friend, it didn't have no Siri or voice activation. You just, and this is how you hung up. <laughs> does it do Morse code? <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. So this is a type of cool shit that I like to see. You can tell this is a Victorian style house. Just by the way, the arches on the doors look and the stairs and the wallpaper look so cool. If you've never been into one of these houses, especially an abandoned one, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I hope you get the feel of it from the video. But it's gorgeous. It looked really big on the outside. I think it, it is. Oh, there's a TV. So cool. This place gives me some weird vibes though. Yeah, it does. I just love finding old televisions like this. Like back in the day, you didn't have a remote control or nothing. You just had on and off volume and then change the channel. Look at that, you can see the channel change. And I think it only have like 11, well, 40 channels. Some of them was a baller. All right, moving along. I really can't wait to see what's upstairs because places like this, 
really old, really historic. We're gonna have some cool things up there. Another little closet over here with a crawl space full of spider webs. All right. These are the type of houses where nightmares are made because of how old they are. You know some type of spirit or ghost is lingering in here somewhere. There's something pooping all over the ground. Oh my God, this is scary. This kind of reminds me of Tom's house. Another bathroom over here. So there are like five stables and like barns out there and I'm eager to see what's inside of all of them. Whoa. The floor feels so terrible right now. There's mold everywhere, obviously. That comes with the job, I guess. What's through here? Oh, what the hell? Jesus, it's like another house on the other side of the house. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I wanna go back and see what's inside these bedrooms over here. Whoa! God, I love how the wallpaper is kind of still in good condition on this side, but on this side it's completely stripping off. So cool. You good? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. Yeah, there's not much going on here. But I did discover another section to the house. You just gotta go through this random door. Yeah, but it's weird. I never seen a, I didn't see a staircase. Downstairs. It's weird. There's like another section to this house. I don't know if this was built later on or if it was built with the house, but it does seem really old just because of the way the hardwood is on the ground. This is like your traditional farmhouse. So Angela found a calendar on the front door that said 1997 and that was the last date that you could find in this house. So it probably has been abandoned since 19... 77 or 97? 97. Some of you guys probably weren't even born. So there's another little bedroom here. I think this house is like eight bedrooms. Oh, not much going on in here though. I was really hoping there would be something upstairs in this house, but I guess most of the action is downstairs. Yeah. Let's actually take these stairs down. Hold on, I want to take these ones down. See where they go. Oh my God, they feel very flimsy. Be very careful. I think it might lead into the kitchen. Yep. Yeah, they're very, very like shady. So they do lead into the kitchen. And I'm gonna go down to the basement and see what we can find down there. So, do you wanna make it down into the basement? I'll let you go first. Of course. <laughs> Always Mo Sarge that goes first. Do you really think there's gonna be anything down there? I... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe there's another way, like from the outside. I really wanna go down, but it looks very dangerous. Well, I'll go down. <laughs> I'll go down. I'm still debating if I should. All right, you grab the camera. Grab the camera and light up my way. I'll go down to the creepy basement. That probably hasn't seen humans. Oh my god. Good word. <laughs> Jesus, there's like a secret door down there here. Let me get that. Okay, now this is scary. If I find a dead body down here, or another dead animal, I'm very surprised that it's not flooded. Jeez, this reminds me of Tom's basement. Oh, this is so cool. There's like all these old bottles from back in the day. Oh, it stinks really bad down here, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. There's a weird looking table. Oh, there's a dead animal. What is it with me and finding? I think it's a cat. Yeah, I think I just found a dead cat or a raccoon. I don't know. Look at all these bottles over here. Old jars from back in the day. So cool. But there is a dead animal, so if you don't want to see it, look away because I'm gonna show it. Yeah, it's definitely a cat. Damn. I just found a dead cat, guys. Look at that. Let's keep moving and see what we can find in this side of the basement. Hopefully no more dead cats. Oh, there's a lot of things left behind here. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of like old jars. Really old jars, like look at this. Liver oil. Found a bottle of cod liver oil. Very interesting. There's like a, a snow, not a snowblower, like a, I guess some type of blower. Really cool though. I just found like a secret staircase. I don't know, that probably goes outside. There's like another area here. Where does it go? Nowhere. Interesting. What an interesting way of how they used to build houses back in the old days. And keep in mind back then, without dryers or laundry machines, they used to hang their clothes on clothing lines like this. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe we just found this. A lot of you guys won't even know what this is. I only know what this is because I like to watch a lot of old movies. Wow, this is so cool, dude. Look at this. It's a it's a hand dryer like you put your clothes in it you turn it and you squeeze the water out of your clothes And then you hang it up on a clothesline and watch your head <laughs> And then you hang them up on a clothesline That's so cool what a contraption 
Hope you guys have been enjoying this adventure so far. I know quarantine has been very boring and traumatizing to all of us, but you know, even me, like I know I've been out filming almost every day. The thing is like, I'm, I'm losing my mind too. Like I, you know, being home all the time, it's not good. I do go out and film, but I'm, you know, I'm back home the same day or the next day. But like me, I like to travel. You guys know that I love going different countries, different cities, different provinces and states, but we can't do that right now. We're stuck in Canada. For me, that's like prison. I know some of you guys are just stuck at home, but the only thing that's kind of keeping me sane in these crazy times that we're living in is doing this abandoned stuff and going out into forests and filming videos for y'all. So I hope you guys appreciate the hard work that I'm putting and risking my life to get get you guys entertainment that you can watch every day or every second day. Don't forget though, I'm, I am posting content on my Instagram stories and on my TikTok. So the link for my Instagram is down below at MoSarji and my TikTok is MoSarji official. I'm trying to get it up to 100,000 followers on TikTok and I do DM some of you guys on TikTok so make sure you guys follow me there. What the hell is this thing? Look at this. I don't know what this is. Looks like a marble, but it's not. Oh, I can't wait to go see what's inside of the barn or the stables. Better not find no dead horse in there. <laughs> yeah, for real. Too many dead animals, man. So it looks like there's an exit here, but hold. It goes nowhere. It's completely sealed off. Weird. Spider webs everywhere. I don't mind spiders, but I hate spider webs. Guys, look at this. This is where they used to keep their onions. You can see all the onion peels are still here. What else? Food? Some weird food that's like rotten away. Oh, there's garlic over there. Look, it's still there. Probably been there since like 1997. Watch out for the dead cat though. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Look at the garlic. You want some garlic? Is that garlic or mushroom? Does, does garlic get better with age? Or? I don't know. That is garlic, but it's just completely rotten. So cool though. I bet they grew this on the land since it is a farm. Yeah, probably. Alright guys, so we are, we are making our way back upstairs. I'll show you guys this stair situation that we got going on. <laughs> hey look, it's a spoon. Yeah, this is very shady. Careful. Oh my god, oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. This guy Oh, there goes my ladder. <laughs> don't worry, I don't need it. I can come up. Uh, <laughs> this guy just totally sabotages me. Okay, I can take a step here. Take my camera. Right oh, God. <laughs> take my camera. So because Angelo sabotaged me, I'm going to... It's actually better than taking that ladder. Yeah, that actually looks <laughs> so better. Uh, looks oh a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> what is all this? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> It looks like somebody was trying to have like a fruit punch party. Yeah, it's like some broken glass. Maybe, maybe it's water. Maybe. Like water leaking from the roof. Um, no, it doesn't look like I didn't go for a pee upstairs. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I didn't. But hey, look. There's a door over here that we don't know where it goes. And it's nailed shut. Yeah, it's completely nailed shut. All right, let's go and explore the barns and the stables and see what we can find. Keep in mind, we don't know if this place is haunted. We've heard that it is. I felt something, but I don't think it's anything paranormal. I think it's just the fact that there is a lot of mold in here, but we still got to check out the farm and the barns and the stables. And I think they used to butcher animals here too. Hopefully we can find evidence of that. Hopefully no more dead animals because finding a cat is more than enough. This is the actual garage right now of the house. It's so cool. Look at this little chair. Yeah. Damn. That's so like ancient. I feel like... And it's raining. Is it r literally raining right now out of nowhere? It's Fudge. So we, I found a thermometer here, a really ancient one. And it says it's currently three degrees Celsius. And it's actually accurate, it still works. Can you believe that? The thermometer still works. Nice. So I'm inside of one of the shacks here and I found a very old sled. For those of you that don't know, this is how they used to make sleds back in the day. You could, you could fit like one, two, three, four, five bums on these and go down. <laughs> I think I have one like almost exactly like that one. Yeah, we, I had one too when I was a kid. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up in that attic. Yeah. Right next to that noose up there. You see the noose? Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go up there. Oh, no. 
Oh my god. Holy shit. Jesus. Yo, raccoon, my boy. Jesus. Damn, guys, look at those teeth. See what I mean, bro? Like, <laughs> like, come on. You're literally on a roll with that, man. Like every video, that's I so swear weird. we're not doing this. Like, somebody, <laughs> somebody sent me an email saying that I'm the one that's doing this. Yeah, right. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay, there's a decomposing raccoon. Look, its bone is popping yeah. out of its shoulder. If you guys don't want to see this, like, look away. But this is life right here. This it definitely is... looks like it got like attacked or something. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe a coyote. Possible. Look at the face on this. Jesus. YouTube, like, please, for the love of God, don't demonetize the damn video. I have to document this. Okay, this is part of life. This is part of the adventures. It's part of exploring and doing abandoned All right, I'm sorry, Raccoon, my boy had to meet his end, but he did. We will all meet our ends eventually. So it looks like they kept some livestock here at one point in time. I don't know what kind of animals were here, but I think I'm walking on a lot of old poop. And that's gross. So we're going to walk out. You heard something coming from there? This is the biggest uh, barn out of all of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello? Nothing there, I hope. Okay, no rabid raccoons. It looks like they used to keep sheep or horses here. This is cool. Look at all this, you guys. This actually might be for cow. No, I feel it's for. But look at that. You think so? Could have been. I don't know actually. Let us know in the comments below if you guys know anything about this. Oh look, they have a, a conveyor belt that used to bring in the hay for the animals. So they can eat. That's cool. This is kind of cool. I've, I've been to a lot of abandoned farmers before, but nothing that had stuff like this. So this is kind of muy bueno. So we are on the other side of that. I wonder if this still works. <laughs> That'd be scary if I get electrocuted. I got electrocuted when I was a little kid. Until this day, I'm like kind of freaked out by electricity. All right, Angelo, it's time to do some work on the dairy farm. Got to sweep after those cows. So this does look like it was a place for either cows or goats or horses. Who knows, to be honest, but I say cows. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. said it looks cool. What the hell was that? Yeah, what was that? I didn't get it on camera. You got it on camera? No. Well, I might have. I don't know. You were recording? Yeah. I yeah, see, so. I wasn't recording. It's like something just whooshed by the building. It was loud. It wasn't a car or anything. It was just loud. All right, time to get out of here. It's probably the ghost of that damn raccoon. <laughs> So as we're making our way out of here, this is the only building that we didn't go into. And you know me, I like to explore every inch of every abandoned place I go to because you never know, sometimes you find stuff. Although sometimes like you don't, but it's always good to take that extra couple of minutes and see this building actually is falling apart. Look at how the earth has caved the concrete in. Yeah, that's crazy. Notice that? Wow, that's interesting. And like the, look at the ceilings falling apart. And it, it caved in on that side too. That's nuts. Oh, dude, look at that. That's for a carriage. Oh, yeah. Like a horse carriage, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's for a carriage. Whoa. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. It's not finished. Nope. But they would sit inside. So this is kind of like what the Amish use. Mm -hmm. They would sit inside and they would ride their horse and they got a window to protect them from the elements. It doesn't have AC or heating, but it works. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how long it was, but it was a cool place to explore. I've never been here before. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Angelo for being with me on this adventure. Whew, we're going full grind mode. Like, we're not stopping. We're gonna go film some more later tonight. And uh, just to give you guys something entertaining to watch during these terrible times that we're living through. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive. Follow me on TikTok and just live a little. Love you guys.